As you can see, this is all that remains after a fire raged through this home and killed one person. The homeowner was at the scene when I arrived and told me his account of what happened. I uh, had, a, had a fire, I mean, it started a fire at 8.30 in the morning, apparently, about give and take, uh, it was over a heater, uh, it was a, 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 apparently faulty wire, it, it started in the floor. Horton says a roommate and her two children also lived with him when the fire broke out. Uh, I started going through the house, telling everybody to uh, get out of the house, and apparently I collapsed in the living room, uh, I was told, and was dragged out by my roommate uh, that had got their kids out. Uh, at that time, uh, uh, the fire department came, they tried to put the fire out, I went to the hospital uh, for smoke inhalation. Uh, Horton thought everyone made it out of the house safely. Horton says his roommate had a friend stay the night before, but they thought the friend left before the fire ever started. Horton says around six hours later, after the fire crews left the scene, his roommate and him discovered a body inside the back bedroom of the home. After, uh, after going through the day of, you know, going to the hospital and uh, Red Cross and, you know, all this stuff, and we came back and we decided we'd, we'd go in there and see if we can salvage anything, and uh, uh, me and my roommate, uh, Recovered the body. The victim's body was burned beyond recognition and was sent to Louisville for an autopsy. I spoke with the Hart County coroner, Reggie Pettit, at the scene, and he says the investigation is still ongoing. More details and the official identification of the victim are expected to be released sometime next week. Kentucky State Police say there is no foul play suspected at this time. We will keep you updated as more details emerge. WNKY News, Cecilia Harrell.